one strategy is to provide a hard-coded one bundled in the app, mm -hmm. right? So until you load it, you use this hard-coded one. And after you load, you override it. The next time you load the app, you have the, the new one. Another way is to defer deferred initialization of the SDKs until you fetch the config. Like it, you don't need to load the SDKs as soon as you load the application, right? You could yes. wait to load it, the configuration, and then load the SDKs mm -hmm. and hook a callback. For example, you have a service that loads the config. You could emit some events, some callbacks. And once you get the, requ the request complete successfully, you mm -hmm. load the SDKs. OK, I see. Or you can let the user wait. You know, you show a spinner until you load the, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. the request. But that's yeah. ideally, you don't want to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Only if really, really needed. Like the app can only work if I have this uh, SDK loaded. Then you need to make the user hang. But 99% of the time, you don't need that. You just change the design a little bit. So the app is responsive as soon as you open it. But those supporting SDKs will be loaded at runtime at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. And if there are important events that you cannot miss, what you can do is you can hold them in memory until you load the SDK. And then once the SDK is loaded, you flush all the requests. You know, you send them all to the to the network at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can cool. save them locally. And once you load the SDK, you sync 